You would think that a billionaire would spend his summer vacation lounging on a luxury yacht in Sardinia with his A-list buddies, which included the famed Lothario Leonardo DiCaprio and his new, younger model fiancé. Despite the wealth he has amassed from the wildly successful business he founded in his garage some 30 years ago, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, 60, has undoubtedly not always had a glamorous existence. Following the finalization of his divorce from his ex-wife Mackenzie Bezos in 2019, the business billionaire seemed to go through a significant metamorphosis, giving up his abnormally normal life in favor of a far more glitzy one. Many used to consider Jeff to be a quiet, secretive tech geek. For example, the billionaire e-commerce tycoon continued to drive a 1997 Honda in 2013 despite being listed as the 400th wealthiest person in America by Forbes in 1998 because it was a perfectly good car. That is very different from the opulence he currently experiences with his fiancée Lauren Sanchez. Just last week, while on vacation on Jeff's $500 million yacht, the pair was spotted hanging out with A-list celebrities including Leonardo DiCaprio and Katy Perry. Jeff, who is currently the second richest man in the world, after Elon Musk, had a low-key life before his divorce from ex-wife Mackenzie in 2019. Since then, his life has changed significantly. In 1993, Jeff and Mackenzie crossed paths during the latter's job interview at D.E. Shaw & Company, a New York hedge fund. The two developed a romantic relationship at work. In 1993, Mackenzie told Vogue about their relationship. My office was next door to his, and I listened to that fabulous laugh all day long, the woman remarked. How could that chuckle not make you fall in love? Growing up in San Francisco, Mackenzie was reportedly a shy youngster who wrote alone in her room much of the time. She finished writing the book Worm, a 142-page book, by the time she was six years old. Recipient of the Pulitzer Prize, author Toni Morrison, considered Mackenzie to be one of the best students he'd ever had. Mackenzie studied fiction at Princeton, a famous university. Despite her timidity as a child, she was not afraid to approach Jeff and ask him out to lunch one day. They became engaged after three months, and three months after that, they were married. The pair moved out of New York in the early years of their marriage and rented a one-bedroom house in Seattle so Jeff could pursue his passion of opening an online bookstore. She was one of the first workers at Amazon and was given the opportunity to take an accounting position as the business began to take off. She has talked about how she helped the company succeed. I worked with him and many others in the converted garage, the basement warehouse closet, the offices smelling of barbecue, the Christmas rush distribution centers, and the conference rooms filled with desks and doors during the early years of Amazon's history, she remarked. I was there when he wrote the business plan, she added. As Amazon grew in popularity, Jeff and Mackenzie made real estate investments, acquiring homes in Manhattan, New York, Beverly Hills, California, Washington, and Texas. The parents, who were quite wealthy, were determined to keep their four children, three sons and a Chinese-adopted daughter, in a regular family setting. Due to the couple's extraordinary fortune, many people were interested in learning how their assets were divided after their divorce. During the time, reports stated that Jeff got off lightly with regard to the arrangement he and Mackenzie made when they separated. Mackenzie received only half of what she was entitled to, keeping a 4% interest in Amazon, then valued at $35.8 billion, as opposed to 8%, even though they did not provide an explanation for their asset split decision. Jeff, on the other hand, retained 75% of their combined $144 billion Amazon stock, or 12% of the company, which was worth around $107.5 billion at the time. Along with her investment in the Washington Post, which he purchased for $250 million in 2013, and Blue Origin, the space exploration business he was investing in, he also assumed voting authority over his ex-wife's remaining shares. In her statement regarding the split, Mackenzie took to Twitter, expressing her gratitude that the process was finished and her excitement for the next phase. She said, looking forward to the next phase as co-parents and friends, and grateful to have finished the process of dissolving my marriage with Jeff with support from each other and everyone who reached out to us in kindness. I am pleased to offer him full ownership of the Washington Post and Blue Origin, 
as well as 75% of our Amazon stock and voting rights over my shares, in order to encourage him to keep working with the people at these amazing firms. Excited for my personal plans, I'm thankful for the past while anticipating the future. I'm so grateful to all my friends and family for reaching out with encouragement and love, Jeff said in a statement. You underestimate its significance. Above all, Mackenzie. I'm appreciative of her warmth and support during this process, and I'm excited about our upcoming friendship and co-parenting partnership. Mackenzie has consistently demonstrated her ability in all of our collaborative work. She has been a fantastic mother, ally, and spouse. I know I'll always be learning from her as our futures unfold. She is resourceful, brilliant, and loving. Even though this information was disclosed at this time, the couple's plans for splitting up their sizable real estate holdings and other investments were left unsaid. Notably, there was no mention of Jeff's girlfriend Lauren Sanchez. This is noteworthy because there have been rumors that the couple's January divorce announcement was sparked by Jeff and Lauren's romance. According to some accounts, Jeff and his current fiancée Lauren Sanchez initially met in 2016. However, the exact date of their relationship's beginning remains unknown. It stated that prior to meeting at another occasion in 2018, the two were cordial acquaintances. They began collaborating later that year when Jeff engaged Lauren's production company, Black Ops Aviation, to provide material for his aerospace startup, Blue Origin. According to reports, Jeff got together with Lauren that year. Lauren is a reporter for Extra, a helicopter pilot, and a former Miss Junior America New Mexico. Since Lauren was married to renowned Hollywood talent agent Patrick Whitesell at the time, she was well known in Tinseltown. The pair's lifestyle has been the subject of tabloid speculation ever since a magazine exposed them for having an affair while they were still married. Jeff's lifestyle has drastically changed since splitting from Mackenzie. The couple had a 25-year marriage during which Jeff revealed some of the specifics of their relatively modest way of living. Speaking at a seminar in Washington, D.C., in 2018, he disclosed that he adhered to a rigid bedtime. Jeff says he goes to bed and wakes up early. Generally, I sleep for eight hours, unless I'm traveling between time zones. Even if it's not always doable, I keep trying extremely hard. I require eight hours of sleep per night. I feel happier, have more energy, and can think more clearly. He also talked candidly about his unexpectedly ordinary mornings, stating that he enjoyed puttering in bed. I enjoy having coffee, reading the newspaper, and having breakfast with my kids before they leave for school. I value my sputtering time very highly, he said. According to other sources, the millionaire would even participate in daily housework, such as washing the dishes every night. Danny Hillis, a mutual friend of the couple, claimed that Mackenzie would take the kids to school in their Honda before dropping Jeff off at work. It's almost abnormal how normal and close-knit their family is, Danny remarked. Jeff proposed to his girlfriend, an Emmy Award-winning journalist, for years after their divorce was finalized, and Lauren said yes. Jeff's $500 million superyacht served as the venue for the 2023 proposal, which was sealed with a spectacular sparkler. Lauren's diamond ring, which some have estimated to weigh between 15 and 20 carats, has been valued between $3 to $5 million. In contrast to Jeff's quiet years with Mackenzie, the couple's years together seem to have been marked by a significantly more opulent lifestyle. After becoming public in 2019, the couple has traveled the world showing off their love, taking vacations on Jeff's mega yacht and having dinner dates with Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson, a previous celebrity couple. In addition to their lavish yacht excursions, the pair vacation in five-star hotels, on private planes, and at beachfront retreats. They attend exclusive parties, eat at highly sought-after restaurants, and socialize with some of Jeff's famous acquaintances. Additionally, it has been stated that in December 2019, celebrities including Timothy Chalamet, Orlando Bloom, Katy Perry, and Scooter Braun attended a lavish birthday celebration that Jeff hosted for his girlfriend at his expansive Beverly Hills estate. The pair was then spotted together property searching in Los Angeles in 2020. A few weeks later, reports appeared on the internet that Jeff had paid $165 million for a brand new Beverly Hills residence, which they appeared to move into together. Situated on 9.4 acres of property, 
the 13,600-square-foot estate is furnished with a tennis court, swimming pool, nine-hole golf course, and vehicle court, equipped with gas stations and a service garage. Since starting a romantic relationship with Jeff, Lauren has not only upgraded her residence but also her wardrobe. The television personality is now frequently spotted wearing magnificent jewelry pieces valued at hundreds of thousands of dollars and carrying designer purses. Lauren was spotted sporting an array of expensive accessories during a 2023 trip to London. These included a $105,000 Birkin bag, $28,500 Jackie Aiche necklace set, and $1,045 Cartier spectacles. Lauren, who is originally from Albuquerque, has worked for almost 20 years as a television personality, contributing to series including Showbiz Tonight, The Joy Behar Show, and Larry King Live as well as serving as a news anchor and entertainment reporter. She started her media career as a desk assistant at Los Angeles's KCOP-TV. She relocated to Phoenix and began working as an anchor and reporter for KTVK-TV. She later became a reporter for the entertainment program Extra. Lauren continued her career at Fox Sports Net, where she was nominated for an Emmy as an anchor and correspondent for the sports magazine Going Deep. She began her career as an entertainment reporter for the network's Best Damn Sports Show period after serving as an anchor for Fox Sports News Primetime. Additional roles included entertainment reporting for KTTV and anchoring So You Think You Can Dance. Lauren started Black Ops Aviation in 2016, however she continues to work on TV series periodically. It gave her the opportunity to put her piloting license to use while concentrating on film and television projects, as it was the first aerial film and production firm run by a woman. She's stated before that she intends to take an all-female team into space travel. Lauren is the vice chairperson of the Bezos Earth Fund in addition to being a philanthropist. She promised to provide $60 million earlier this year to support the establishment of centers that address climate change and biomanufacturing. Additionally, she participates in the Bezos Courage and Civility Award program, which recognizes community leaders. Lauren's image has changed dramatically over the years, moving from the girl next door aesthetic to a more edgy one. Her signature ensembles frequently feature high hemlines, low-cut necklines, and see-through materials. On a recent trip to the beach, she was photographed sporting another one of her skimpy outfits. The couple and other A-list visitors were pictured on Friday enjoying the Italian sun. Orlando Bloom, Katy Perry, Leonardo DiCaprio, and his girlfriend Vittoria Soretti were among them. The well-known group has reportedly been cruising the Mediterranean on Bezos' superyacht. The famous couples were photographed at Sardinia's Nikki Beach, disembarking on a tender boat. They were seen being taken to Arzakina, which is nearby, for lunch and then back to the superyacht. The already formed group of visitors at the upscale beach resort didn't appear to be phased by the celebrity arrival, however a few were observed shooting pictures with their phones while the celebs strolled along the shore. Compared to the modest Honda he kept driving after becoming a billionaire in the late 1990s, the yacht is a radical shift. The insider claims that this is clear from the ship's name, Koru, which means, New Beginnings, in Maori. The vessel took nearly five years to build and was first ordered in 2018 by the founder of Amazon for $485 million. Standing at 250 feet tall with three decks, the Koru is the highest sailing yacht in the world. Boat International stated in April 2023 that it possesses three masts that are separated by more than 230 feet. It is one of only four yachts in the world with a breadth of 416 feet that is longer than 328 feet. Fans of the wealthy businessman have noticed changes in the tycoon's appearance in addition to changes in his lifestyle. Jeff's thinning hair, seen in pictures from the 1990s, is no longer there, his head is now shaven. Additionally, he appears to have developed a regimen for maintaining his eyebrows as evidenced by the absence of the monobrow seen in previous pictures. The fact that he seems to have started working out regularly and significantly bulking up his physique, though, may be the most alteration to his appearance in recent years. Even though Jeff was slightly rounder in the face when he was younger, he had become thinner and more lean by the time he accumulated wealth. But since dating his new girlfriend Lauren, but even before that, in 2017 when he was still married to Mackenzie, Jeff has gained a lot of muscle and had the kind of body that action heroes typically have. In recent years, the billionaire's wardrobe has also undergone changes.
He is now recognized for his bold ensembles for special occasions and his more laid-back, stylish looks during his free time, which are very different from his previous signature appearance of chinos and shirts.